Today's lesson is lesson 56, which is titled Subtracting Mixed Measures. In mixed measures, we're going to do a subtraction problem like any other type of subtraction problem. We might have to regroup. Regrouping is going to be borrowing from one area and moving it to another area to fix that. The first set of measures that we're going to do are dealing with days, hours, and minutes. The other ones will deal with measures of distance in yards, feet, and inches. Knowing the equivalencies and knowing how to convert will help you when you do these problems. Let's take a look first at the <clears throat> measures of days, uh, hours, and minutes. When we start with our subtraction, we'll start from our uh, side here to the right and move our way to the left with the smaller units to the larger units. So when dealing with minutes, uh, we have to regroup already here from the hours in order to add to the 15 minutes that we have and then subtract 40 minutes from that new time. If we regroup one of the hours, we take one away from the 10, which will leave us with nine hours and bring over 60 minutes, which we will add then to the 15 minutes that we already had there. We can rewrite these problems in order to keep them in order, which might help. So we'll add the 15 minutes to the 60 minutes, and for ease of sense, we'll just put that right back into here, which would give us 75 minutes altogether. We cannot take 15 hours from nine hours, so we're going to have to take a day from here which would be the same as 24 hours here. So we will add 24 to the 20 or to the nine hours that we already have here, which would give us 35 hours. Now we can set about doing our subtraction problem. We're going to take 40 from the 75 minutes, which will leave us with 35 minutes. We will take 15 hours from the 35 hours, which will leave us with 20 hours. And we'll take one day from four days, which will leave us with three days. That's the easiest conversion. We don't have anything that is larger than the previous before. We don't have to uh, take anything else away from that. The second set of problems has to deal with measurement. Measurement also is going to start with our lowest forms of measure and move our way up to the higher measurements. You'll see here that there is a blank space where we have to take one foot away from a measurement, which we will have to regroup from. We have to do that first before we can do anything with the inches. As we see, we're taking eight from in three inches. So we're going to borrow from the yards. And we know the conversion for yards is three feet for every yard, so we can automatically put three feet over here. Before we do any more subtraction, we do have to add to the inches. We'll take one foot from here, leaving us with two, and add 12 <coughs> excuse me, inches to the three inches that we have here, making that a total of 15 inches. Now we can subtract. We'll take eight inches from 15 inches, leaving us with seven inches, one foot from two foot, leaving us with one foot, and two yards from three yards, leaving us with one yard. The measurements are all dealing with time or with measurements, and all you need to know are the equivalencies and the conversions, and then making sure that you're borrowing in the right places when you do these types of problems.